All right, guys, we are going to make a chaffle. I have failed at making a chaffle before, but I have finally figured it out. I have a huge waffle maker. Well, it's not huge, but it's a lot bigger than what everybody else is using. Everybody else is using the dash. So I will be putting a link in the description on that's the, ch that's the waffle maker you should get because this batter should make about two truffles, but because of the size of my waffle maker, it's only gonna make one. But it's really easy and kid approved and super delicious. So hopefully you guys like it. All right guys, so here we go. This is everything you use. So this is my chaffle. Um, so you're gonna use a half a cup of mozzarella. You are going to use one large egg and you're gonna mix the egg with the par with the uh, mozzarella and then what I do is I add about five drops of the vanilla sweet cream stevia drops and I add a couple grinds on the uh, uh, pink Himalayan salt I also do um, just a splash of ground cinnamon and that's what we are going to do that's how we're gonna make it. Now go ahead and start your chaffle maker before you even start mixing this stuff. Get it nice and warm. Go ahead and sp uh, spray it right, I always spray it right before I put everything in. But I'm gonna go ahead and mix my egg with the, my mozzarella. Make sure your mozzarella is finely shredded. You wanna make sure it's finely shredded or else it will, um, it will overflow the waffle maker because it calls for the finely shredded half a cup. So it will overflow. So like I said, my truffle recipe, it, it should make two if you use the dash waffle maker. So we're gonna go ahead and put our pink Himalayan salt. We're gonna go ahead and take a couple drops of two, three, four, five. I think a six one got in there. I love stevia drops. They are my fave. So then we're gonna throw a little bit of cinnamon in there. Not a lot. Just give it some flavor. These are actually pretty good without putting any of this stuff in it. Just putting the, the cheese and the egg. It's really crispy. But this is gonna be like a treat. Almost like a waffle. Like an actual waffle. So, now that it's all mixed, I'm gonna go ahead and spray this gonna smoke up a little bit because it's been sitting. So you're gonna put it right there, spread it out. So I usually just pour everything right in the middle. And then I spread her out. See, so now that it's spread, it should, it should cook pretty evenly. I mean, this is this is like, I can't even prolong this video. This takes no time to make. The macros are on, on point. You're looking at around two net carbs, and that's for two truffles. Like I said, my recipe does make two truffles, but I have a bigger waffle maker. So, technically the, the size of this truffle is the serving of two truffles. So it's about two net carbs. I I have to, I have to really uh, look at my recipe. I, I do think it's 16 grams of fat, but I will be putting all that in the description. I will be putting uh, the dash, uh, chaffle or waffle maker, and uh, that's the one you want to use because that will make two perfectly sized waffles or chaffles. Sorry, I keep switching up my words. Um, I will put that link in there. I will put the macros. I'll put uh, the calorie intake. I will be putting all that. I'll also put the description uh, in the description on how to make it. Um, it's the most simplest thing you'll ever make. So I will pull this out here in a sec and I will show you guys the finished product. Chaffle is complete. Look at that. You can't even tell a difference. My kids can't even tell a difference. I'm whispering because they are standing pretty close and I don't want them to know they're eating something healthy. But this is my chaffle. Looks perfectly 
normal, like a, like a normal waffle. It tastes delicious. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to rip a piece off and I'm going to taste it. Mmm. Delicious. I mean, you taste the cinnamon in there. Got a little bit of the salt. But I really taste the vanilla um, sweet, uh, sweet drops. And this is perfect for that sweet tooth. Perfect for just a snack. It gets crispy. I love it. You can use it as a bun. You can use it as a hot dog bun. You can use it for multiple things. So hopefully you guys are adding a chaffle to your uh, to your arsenal here on this keto journey. And I really appreciate everyone who, who watches and appreciate everybody who subscribes. So once again, thank you for being here. Thank you for, uh, for subscribing. And hopefully you guys um, really find this useful. And hopefully you guys come back. Don't forget to subscribe if you're a new watcher. Um, there will be big things coming. I, I have a, a fitness clothing line that I'm looking into and possibly um, like like keto keto themed uh, fitness clothes like kind of like my shirt have you the return of the car wars and stuff like that you know something funny so hopefully you guys like it hopefully you guys stay with it and thank you for watching <laughs> look at them they're eating it I can't pick one up it's so good kid approved Look at it. Look, this kid eats nothing. She eats nothing. She takes the hot dog out of the bun. And she just eats the bun. But they are eating it. So, if that's not evidence that my chaffle is that good, I don't know what is. <laughs>